all right guys so in the last video we were successfully able to authenticate the user as well as register the user now onwards in this video i will be implementing the passport strategy in order to protect the routes from the user and whether if the user have the token which is valid then the user will be able to log in uh, view bring the credentials pro and interact with the rest api otherwise it won't so for example let's go and simply create another route which is of a get type get authenticated user profile so in order to do that i'm gonna simply create another route which is router.get and profile and it will take a request and response request and response and if i return this return press.json um, which is an object in which i'm gonna pass some string hello world simple or simple as that and firstly i just need to go and start the server as well as mongodb shell because this is another fresh day i'm gonna start it from the scratch so mongo daemon server is now started running and here we have it and i'm gonna run the server so to run the server node mon and here we have started a database successfully and there's no error so now if i simply go in the postman and make a request this to this url local host 5000 and api slash users profile and if i make this request we get this hello world response back from the server so now i want to access this i i want to protect this route and if the user is logged in and if you remember from the last video we were able to successfully log in the user as well as so firstly let me get a token so it will be local so i'm just simply gonna copy this url paste it over here and instead of profile i'll go to login and then authorization is fine headers is fine that is body raw and the username will be yeah, instead of this text it will be application slash json username uh, let me go quickly check the user because i remember the password i don't know the user so mongo and show dbs and use authentication underscore app database and if i simply show collections we have users collection and i want to drop this admins collection for now db.admins the drop yeah it will be admins not admins yeah so it was just for the testing so that's fine so db. users now I find not pretty and this is a good course because in this way you can also learn the mongodb commands so the username was codebook inc i will copy this part and paste it over here in a sim in double quotes and the password was super secret password that is one two three four five six seven eight and now if i send this request we get the token success token over here so now i want to protect this route if the if this route is accessible only for the only by the user if he has this token so how in the world we are gonna do that in this program so for that we will simply use a strategy and we have already done so far so a little bit part but in the now i want to go to config folder and i'm going to create a new file that is passport.js and i'm going to bring in some dependencies the first one is jwt strategy 
strategy equal to require which is passport JWT remember from the first video we have also installed this passport JWT so now we'll be we'll be using that thing and this has strategy function over there and then again const we'll have extract JWT which will require dot extract JWT function and uh, let's make it quite capital yeah that's fine so after it will use passport JWT again so we have done this and now we want to authenticate the user so for that I will bring in the user model in here Requ require users and after that I'm gonna also bring in the configuration which we were signing in while authenticating the user that is over here so which was config.secret and so we need that now in order to check whether the application was requested from our own origin or not so we can bring in that config then database then yeah so we have brought in the config also to authenticate the user by JWT strategy now we will simply define our strategy over here which will be a function module dot exports equal to and here we'll pass that passport object which will send from our app.js file so firstly first thing first we will be initialize an empty object that is opts um, which will be simply empty nothing in there then opts dot extract jwt oh sorry it will be extract jwt from request and it will use extract jwt dot from auth and one more thing it is making some error so let's make it smaller because it is referencing to this part and now if I just access this property so we have this these methods available here so I will simply use from auth header with scheme and here will be JWT so in this way we are simply extracting the JWT token from the header of the requested URL or requested parameters which are passed in there so after that ops dot secret now we'll match our secret or key which will be equal to configuration dot secret so we are now checking the secret we are matching the secret and now passport dot use we'll use this thing over here new jwt strategy and it is an object which will take our options as well as the payload so it will be jwt payload as well as done a done is nothing but a callback again so now we'll simply use user dot we had this thing with this method so firstly we will extract that ID from that from the payload so we'll pass that ID to the this function which is in our models users and here we have this user by ID and we are passing this ID over here so currently if you remember we went to the JSON web token JWT IO and uh, let me go and bring that real quickly JWT IO and if I copy this token from here till here and I paste that token in there 
we were getting this id in our data object so now we are trying to extract that token from that from that id so we will be simply passing that from jwt payload dot data dot underscore id and we have passed this jwt error and after that if in case of we it, it, it was also having a callback if in case of any error otherwise it will send the user back then if error it will return done with error and false message that means the user was not authenticated if there is an user it will return done with null where error will be null and the and it will give back the user and if nothing happens then it will return simply done with null and the authentication status will be false so in this case we will be completely knocked out of the authentication part so now how to how to use these things in our so how let's go and implement that strategy in our application app.js file but now how in the world we are gonna do that that's a big question so to use those kind of thing we have to pass the another parameter over here and remember we have passport already brought in this route which is over here so now we are gonna simply use that thing and that authenticate uh, with the strategy that is GWT. And now, if I save this thing, this part, and the server shouldn't break, and by default, it will break if we touch that route. And why is that? So, if I simply send this thing out, it will break. Why is that is happening? So for that, the answer is that we haven't used that. We have made that strategy, but we haven't implemented that strategy in our app.js file. So just to do that, we have to bring in the passport authentication strategy. And we require for that require and that will be one down in the config folder then the passport which we have just initialized and it was taking the passport object which we have brought in and now if I do this the server should not break and it is breaking okay so why is that let's go and quickly check that out and there's some error in this line of code okay so options equals to find jwt extract jwt yeah so this will be simple small jwt yeah now it will work fine yeah so this strategy has been brought now if i go and simply send this request we get unauthorized status and this route is not protected very well so how we are gonna access this route so if we have we have to we have to copy this whole token from here to till here and just copy that token uh, just now in the headers authorization put that token in there and send now we can access the route and there's fail to serialize oh yeah i forgot to pass one more one more argument that is over here because and um, it will be session equals to false now if I do that it will work very well now we have the access to this route so now let's go in the deep what why is that happening what is this passport doing in our route and how it can protect us so the thing is if I simply console that log out and don't do only the request part because it might crash your terminal also oftentimes because request object is really big but instead I use user and now if I save and if I just keep an eye on this small this terminal and now if I make this send request we get the user 
So basically the passport is doing like it is finding that user from the database and appending that appending that to this request object which we have it over here this is request object it is appending that user to it also so now to get this user profile we can simply say request dot user and now if i save this file and if i now send this thing we get the user back from the database so this way we are just accessing the user profile so now so far the user can authenticate as well as and you can implement this strategy on those routes which you want to protect and if you feel like that you this route should be only accessible to the authenticated the you authenticated user so basically this application was all about how to do role based authentication in node.js and currently we have just one user so to test that out i'm gonna create quickly two files one in models folder that is admin.js and it's nothing but this copying of all the paste and another route for the admin the js so firstly we have to initialize the admin schema because admin is kind of gonna be different part who has a authentication state and just copy from the user.js model and just paste that thing out over there with little bit, with little bit of modifications that is instead of this user schema it will be admin schema and let's to make a little bit more complicated and challenging he must be having a job profile attribute also and type is required copy and paste sorry about this one this is simply a now we want this to user instead of user we want it to be admin and i did very quickly how you can do this like you can just copy the part select the part command d in macintosh and control d in windows will do the same and you can select all the things so now i want to use this function as a user for not for the user i want to use it for the admin so i'm gonna quickly replace the user with the admin part now for this one i will simply use admin find the admin by its username and instead of user schema it will reference to now admin schema and in the same way admin and this new user object will be now converted to admin and add user will convert it to admin again and this is nothing but the same part so this way we have just created our admin schema and yeah unique validator is also set now for the admin i just want to go and simply copy this for, from the user.js file to this admin.js and this will in this we are bringing the user schema instead we will be bringing admin schema admin and new user will reference to admin schema now and that is fine and we have this other field that is job profile um, which will come from the request dot body dot job profile yeah that is fine job profile and now instead of this user we'll be having this admin and username is already taken that is fine that will work just fine and instead of this user it will be admin now for the registration we are done with the registration part and now i will go for the admin the authentication that is admin and that is fine if user instead it should have admin back from the database yeah one minute uh, let me go and check this out which part was it get admin by username
okay that's fine get admin by username is fine now compare password is perfect and instead of this we'll come now compare the admin password and instead of this we will having job profile that is simply admin dot job profile and this users will get converted to this admin so this is nothing but a copying and pasting and replicating whatever we have done for the user and yeah that is fine don't worry about this because this is just appending the user because the passport will send back the user only and and this way we have can successfully authenticate the u admin but now if i want to access any route we haven't registered it in app.users file so now simply if i go and put anything else with the admin that will go to admin and that admin is coming from the routes admin so far our code shouldn't break and it shouldn't it hasn't now we uh, now if we try to access any admin routes also from the user credential it will be auth it will be it can be accessed and that is really kind of a uh, a security issue with the application so we need to configure how we can implement that thing so remember we are accessing this passport and whatever the passport was having we were like we were simply using that thing over here so before that i told you in the first video that we will be creating our own custom middleware and i want to implement the user based authentication on this route as well as admin based to admin based authentication to this only this admin that is admin routes so we are going to now create in bring it uh, not bring in create a custom middleware function and how in the world we can create a custom middleware function to do that so for that i'm simply say const check user type and it will be a simply a function which will take request response and next and now what what i want to do is like instead of this at last first one i should be having next function working over here and app.use check because we are going to use this middleware in our application and now i want to simply console.log or something that is console.log request dot original url and let's see what we are going to get before implementing anything so before our application is not crashing that means we have done the things work fine now if i send this back we are getting this route whatever the route we are touching it over here and this is done because before using this thing any before getting to before doing anything this request object has access to this function and this function is just taking out extracting the original url which we have called from there and you know i want to implement user based authentication on this u api slash users and admin based authentication on this uh, admin route so now if i simply check that thing exploit that thing because it's a simply javascript function and explode that thing back and let's check out what we get so far our server is not crashing and now if i send this request we are getting all three all four key value pairs because we are using this users so because it is basically trimming that thing into exploding into an array and if i simply go ahead for this part like admin and now if i log in we are now have this access to this admin so what we can do i am interested in this this is the array of one two three four object four 
four values in there and I'm interested in the second part, second index. So now if I save and just put that thing request route and don't worry about this guys. So we are getting simply admin and instead if I put user, users and if I send this route, we get the user back. Okay, so now what we can do, we can access this passport strategy on the basis of this apple on the basis of this uh, whatever we have got we are getting as a sec on the second index of that array which we have exploded with this split command so we to do that i'm gonna simply use user type and then the passport and now if i save my code will definitely break okay so my code is definitely gonna break i knew that and I just wanted to make you guys watch that thing. So instead of this, I'm gonna do const user type equal to this part. So we have stored that user type and this user type variable. And instead of accessing this alone, I'm gonna put that thing over here. Okay, make sense? And now it is taking two parameters. Firstly, initially it was taking one parameter, but now it has, it is taking two parameters. And I will simply pass that parameter over here. And now if I save, our code shouldn't break. So in this way, we are successfully able to authenticate the user, but now we have still a problem in there. And the problem is like, if you run this code now again it will get the same result for the even for only for the user but not for the admins so now we will be simply checking that thing over here once we are just passing this payload back so what we can do in that case i'm simply cutting that out and if user type equal to equal to admin then i'm gonna check for admin if user type is equal to is equal to users i'm gonna do this and firstly to access the user admin schema just put that thing back to admin we have to bring in the admin schema and now i am gonna copy this out and paste it over here and instead of this user simply admin and instead of admin yeah, so that would be basically it about this thing. But still we have one thing fake, one thing to fix. That is when we are assigning the token, we want to change some messages. Admin, first of all admin, second one is like we are assigning the user type. That is, that should be admin. Now if I save, everything should work fine, perfectly fine. So let's go and quickly create a you uh, create an admin first. So to I'm just gonna run this uh, the postman. I'm quite making it quite bigger, so that will be quite useful. Um, admin register. So I'm gonna register the admin username. Nandy Mandy. I'm gonna put mine, which I love to put in name will be uh, one more thing let me quickly check that out yeah that's it yeah so everything is fine everything will, should work narrain maria which is my name and email nandy mandy 09 at the gmail.com then we have contact which will be 7275790917 which is my previous number which is not in use anymore so you cannot contact on this name email contact password now so password for that for now i'm gonna put very super secure password that is one two three four five six seven eight nine zero okay and this will be for Hmm. job profile is left 
which will be like CEO and now if I send this request we should get admin registration is successful now if I go and simply put that thing over here for the user throughout this firstly let me authenticate the admin so authentication of the admin is localhost admin login and headers body I'm gonna put this raw and this will be application slash json username password will be my again super secret one that is one two three four five six seven zero and now if i send oh my god why is it breaking so something went wrong just gonna let me pick that out unhandled error expression user is not defined okay okay what is happening is like when we were authenticating this thing i was authenticating with the user so this is a quick way to debug your applications and i would like to tell you to debug in the same way so now if i simply send we should get a token for the admin also so as you know this route was protected only for the accessible only to the user and now if i go and simply get rid of this user instead of that i'm gonna use this token and let's see what we are going to get and i copy this out paste it over here and we should get unauthorized no why is that yeah yeah that's fine basically okay so for, instead of I, if i want to access that thing for user now uh, sorry this will be user's profile yeah that's fine we get unauthorized i was like uh, quite shocked because <laughs> i forgot that i am using admin route so that's okay that application is working fine and now if i instead go for the admin route we have successfully implemented and in all the routes whatever where the, you want to feel that admin should be logged in you can put this strategy and rest of the thing will be taken care of by here because everything when it is admin route has been accessed then it will pass the admin otherwise it will pass the user so in this way you can create any number of roles and whatever as your application can grow you can create number of roles over there and you can check that thing and so that's basically it about this video and make sure you subscribe my channel if you like the content and otherwise if you don't want to subscribe that's fine but you can help us support us by sharing our content to the to those guys who want to learn the programming from the scratch from the beginning because initially when i was a programmer i start when i started programming it was really like there were only a couple of tutorials available and within three years it took me three years to learn the things and most of the things i googled and searched and how the things work in application and mean stack is something like uh, which uses mongodb and i really fascinate because it uses asynchronous threads so in this way i learned programming and Thank you guys. If you like the video, just give this video a thumbs up.